Hindenburg circles over New Jersey in a holding pattern, waiting for Charles Rosendahl, commander at Lakehurst, to approve landing. As 7 o'clock is approaching, Commander Rosendahl signals that conditions now suitable for landing recommend landing now. The ship begins its final approach. The Hindenburg makes a wide circle of the field and approaches from the north. Well, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. We're out now outside of the hangar. Reporter Herbert Morrison is recording a description of Hindenburg's arrival for a later broadcast on radio. The thousands of people have come out to witness the landing of this great airship. The barometer is dropping. The wind is shifting. It made a turn to realign so that its nose was pointing into the wind. They dropped two lines called trail lines. The lines let the ground crew pull the ship into position and secure it. In subsequent investigations, these ropes will come under intense scrutiny. Roughly four minutes after dropping these landing lines, fire erupted. Barely a minute, there's nothing left but smoking wreckage. Of 97 passengers and crew, 35 are dead, plus one ground crewman. 